It wasn't until I was an adult that I understood why a benign garnish, parsley, caused a, a splosh on my parents' reputation. And it was my fault. The parsley incident was mine. I grew up in England with two very proper English parents. And I loved, in school, I loved to write. And our school gave us these wonderful little composition booklets. They had a blank spot at the top where you could write a picture, and then underneath two or three lines where you could explain the picture. So I was always casting around for stories. This really was my favorite subject. And one day I came home, and my mother was at the stove, and she had a big pot of boiling water on the stove, and she was throwing parsley into this pot of water. I didn't say anything to her at the time, but I realized it must have struck me as something unusual. So that's what I wrote my story about. I wrote my mother, I drew a picture of my mother at the stove and this big pot of water and a big pile of parsley. And I wrote a few lines about the story. And I handed it in at school and really didn't think anything more about it. Several months later, my parents went to a teacher-parent conference, and when they came home, they were very subdued. And they asked me about the parsley story and why I had written it. Well, I had really no idea why I had written it, and they didn't press the subject very much. And as he said, it wasn't until I was an adult till I understood what the issue was. Now, I have to take you back in time. As you can see, I am not a young pe person. And from that, you can guess that my parents are even older than I am. And if I take you back to their time when um, they were raising children, I have to tell you that birth control was kind of an iffy proposition. <laughs> and if you found yourself pregnant and you weren't particularly happy about it, you relied on old wives' tales about things that might help you, one of which was jumping up and down on the bed. I'm really not sure that was supposed to do. Maybe it was supposed to make the sperm fall out. I'm really not sure <laughs> how that helped you. But as you can guess, one of them was drinking copious amounts of parsley water which is the story I had written and handed into the school. <laughs> now, realizing that my parents are proper English people and the time that this happened, you can only imagine the mortification and humiliation of being at the parent-teacher conference and given the story of the parsley. I would love to think that everybody kind of laughed and said, hey, you know, it's a kid, what can you do? But knowing the time on my parents, I know that to this day they consider that a blot on their reputation as parents. <laughs> I think the only saving grace for my mother was that at the time of the parent-teacher conference, she was obviously several months pregnant with my baby sister. <laughs> Thank you.